Hi, I'm Doug Bauman, Formulations and Application Technology Manager at Syngenta Canada. And today I want to talk to you about application of Miravis Neo in corn. Application accounts for about 15% of the efficacy you can expect to see from a crop protection product, and getting that 15% right takes a bit of planning. Why? Because of this. In my hand, I have three milligrams of active ingredient, and that three milligrams is all you have to spread across one square foot of your field, which in corn is about one plant. And when we talk Miravis Neo in corn, remember that one square foot of land could be seven, eight, or nine feet tall at the time of application. That's a lot of target to hit with a little amount of active. There's five core components to a great application strategy of Miravis Neo and corn. The first is your carrier volume. Next is your spray quality. Third is your forward travel speed. Fourth is your boom height. And then fifth is how the spray enters the canopy, which we really want to be falling vertically. For a late season fungicide application in corn, the two easier things to think about when it comes to the application strategy are your travel speed and your boom height. It's hard to rip through corn the way you can in some other crops, so keeping 10 to 15 kilometers an hour at an absolute maximum is a pretty good goal for an application strategy. Second, boom height. Lots of folks will struggle to get their boom sufficiently high enough above the corn crop because of the height of this crop. The boom height is really important because the height above crop allows the pattern from each nozzle to fully form before entering the crop. That said, if you do have a short corn crop or an extremely large sprayer, make sure you're not above the labeled height above the top of the crop. In any event, if you can avoid dragging the boom through the top of your corn, make sure you do so. Three is your spray volume, where 200 liters a hectare is what's really needed to make sure you get great coverage of that corn crop. And remember, you're protecting both the cob and the leaves of this crop because Miravis Neo is delivering improvements in grain quality and in preserving yield potential of your corn. That's a lot of target area to spread your three milligrams of active ingredient. So Oscar's holding two different corn plants. Row spacing is not too bad. And let's talk about the spray quality. So if I have a coarse spray quality or an ultra coarse spray quality, droplets are gonna travel in a very straight line for quite a long time. And in a dense canopy like corn, where we may need to be three feet or more below the top of the crop in order to hit the cob, we actually need to go to a finer spray quality. And that finer spray quality allows movement within the crop and some randomness in droplet movement because of air currents. And that randomness is gonna help us get down deeper into the canopy and around some of those leaves. We'll also hit the leaves on the way, of course, but this is a measure of using the finest air inducted spray you're comfortable with on your farm to drive penetration deep into the corn crop. Fifth is the direction of the spray as it enters the crop. Earlier, when I held up the spray to demonstrate the importance of quality, I had it on an angle. And in the case of corn, an angled spray is not what you want because here I would only be painting the tops of the corn crop and I need to somehow get this spray all the way down to the ear. And in this case, I want this spray vector to be vertical. A vertical falling spray where it enters the crop from above and falls straight down gives us the maximum possible coverage potential because those finest air inducted spray that you've been able to produce has the most room to go around leaves and get down into the cob.